I'm Stefan Didak. I'm the founder and president of Not Blowing Smoke. I do believe that a lot of businesses are going to cease to exist. And part of that is, is, is just business logic. If you don't have the funds to go to PMTA, and you already know that, that even if you had the funds, it's very unlikely your product's going to get approved, what are you going to do? You've got about a year, year and a half left to make money with your business, so a lot of businesses will start doing what they do as a business, make as much money as they can in the shortest amount of, of, of time and close up. The situation in, in the United States right now is a little chaotic. Um, a lot of businesses are scared about the FDA regs, which have now dropped. Um, the chaos is mostly because nobody really knows what to do and the regulations as they're written are just not very clear. Parts of the guidance that still needs to be written still needs to be provided. So all we have is the basic 500 pages of regulation and a very clear timeline in terms of what needs to happen. And the first thing that's going to happen is uh, as of August 8, no new products can be introduced on the market. So no new liquids, no new flavors, um, no new mods, no new hardware, none of that. As of August 8, you cannot do giveaways. You cannot provide free samples. You cannot provide free products because now they're tobacco products. And this is going to impact a lot of the events. And what we'll be seeing after August 8 is possibly a, a radical change from the way things have been. I, I think most of the professional companies are aware, I mean all of the advocates are aware. Um, I do run into a lot of companies who know that the deeming regulations have now been officially published, but they still don't take it seriously enough. There, there's, there's companies who think that they can get their products through the PMTA process. Um, there's just no way those products will get through PMTA because nobody can afford it. It's going to be anywhere between, at, at bare minimum, $330,000 just for the hours that the FDA needs. After that, all the studies, the documentation, uh, the backup material, um, the paperwork, the regulatory attorneys, uh, the studies by child psychologists, uh, we're looking at, at several million dollars per PMTA per SKU. The Cole Bishop Amendment is an amendment that is added to an agricultural spending bill and it basically provides a predicate date change. Um, a predicate date uh, is also often referred to as the grandfather date. We need that because that will allow products to go to the easier, not, not super cheap, but easier substantial equivalency pathway, which means if your product was substantially equivalent to something that existed on the market prior to August 8, you can file for SE. However, the date is currently set at February 2007. None of the products we are using today are substantially equivalent to whatever vapor product existed at February 2007 and earlier.